Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for joining me for this video today. My name is Leanne. Welcome to my channel in the garden again. In this video, I wanted to talk about really quick about a new garden planner. It's not like new as in new to the world, but it's new to me. It is the family garden planner from Melissa K. Norris. I'm not affiliated with her, but I really wanted to share this tool because I think it is awesome. It's super affordable and it is a way to help you figure out a good idea of how much food you should grow for your family if you're trying to support your family's vegetable, fruit and vegetable needs from your own garden and your own land. So let's go through it, shall we? Also, children did a little bit of artwork in it for me. Bless them. Okay, she's got a good two page, nice and short introduction to it. I'm not gonna read it to you. Charts and worksheets. Now, I didn't fill all of these out, but this is really helpful. So the first step is to write down about how much of each vegetable you'll use roughly every week. And then you add it all up throughout the year. So you do need to have a little bit of foresight with it and figure out like what vegetables do you typically eat already and make your plan off of that. We typically eat cucumbers, carrots, lettuce, spinach, zucchini, tomato, and uh, snap peas, broccoli, and kale for the most part. Like I have got other things that I'm growing that aren't in that category, like extras. I've got herbs in there too. There's another chart that's for annual vegetables, perennial vegetables, um, fruit and herbs. So that's where the, the herbs come in. Okay, the next section is a chart of fruits and then vegetables that show you about how much the plants, if they're healthy, will put out for you to help you figure out how many of each plant. So you already figured out how much of each type of vegetable you're gonna eat. Now you know how much the plant will grow for you. So you can figure out from that how many of the plants you wanna grow. Next section is then you write down each vegetable that you wanna grow and how much of it you wanna grow. I'm not gonna lie, this stresses me out just a tidbit. So broccoli, 40 to 50 plants. I'm pretty sure that I have that started already, but that's a lot, that's a lot. And then kale, 30 to 40. I forgot the zero on that. It just looked like 30 to four. Carrots, 100 plus, because each plant is one carrot. You need to have a fair bit of room to grow that. Um, cucumbers, 30 to 40. Lettuce, 15 to 20. I feel like those got mixed up. Snap peas, 60 plants. Spinach, 40 to 50. Squash, eight to 10 for winter and summer squash, and then tomatoes 20 to 30, which is basically what it grew last year, though I am going to make way more of a point this year to be on a regular fertilizing and pest control schedule. Last year, we traveled a lot in the heat of the summer when a lot of the bugs are at their worst when I should have been taking care of things. Um, not that I didn't want to travel, like we wanted to go where we wanted to go, all of us did, but the, gar the garden suffered for it. So I'm gonna try really hard to take a lot better care of everything this year. We don't have currently any plans to go anywhere in the middle of summer. So hopefully that's not a problem. Okay, next chart is the plan for when you're going to plant all of these things. She gives you a really good outline of when it is recommended to start things. So for cilantro, for example, it tells you their germination periods, typically five to 10 days. And then you wanna direct sow about two weeks before the last frost in the winter or spring, depending on your zone. And then in the, the fall, six to eight weeks before your first frost. So for me, well, I started cilantro a while ago, but that's because I'm going to transplant it. Even though it does better direct zone, I wanted to have someone to transplant to get a little ahead of the game. All right, so that's the prereq section of it. Then you have the actual planner part, which I intend to use this as my garden planner slash planner for my life in general, because my garden takes up a lot of my time. Um, and I don't want to have two separate planners. I think that's annoying. And I think this definitely has room for enough, like enough room for my whole gardening and life balancing. All right. 
So this is pretty cool too. I really like this feature. I was even thinking of having like a downloadable thing for sale on my Etsy where I was basically a chart like this, but now that I see this, I'm not gonna do that. It's a chart where you put each plant variety and your yield for it. When you planted it, it says number of plants, days to germinate, days to harvest, first harvest, and then yield per plant. That's really cool. So you can keep track of how well each variety you planted did for you. And there's a lot of pages for this. Fruit and variety, and then plant and variety. You have a week at a glance, so it goes by the hour. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I haven't used that for that yet. I need to start filling this bad boy out. And then it has a month at a glance, and then some dot note section. Aw, monthly gardening tasks by zone. Oh, you know what? I feel like me and this lady would be really good friends. I feel like it's weird now that I am an adult calling other people lady just sounds strange to me. She is a woman. Sounds like a very nice woman. Um, I really like your planner, Melissa, and I'm very grateful that people like you who are very experienced with gardening and homesteading have made things like this. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I know this was more of just like me gabbing about this. This product, I think it was like 10 bucks. Super affordable. I found it on christianbook.com, but there are a lot of different places that it sold. Um, I think Amazon even. So just look up the family garden plan, <clears throat> the family garden planner. There is also another book called the family garden plan. Um, but this is the one I got, the family garden planner. It is a weekly planner. Da oh, it's a daily planner where it's broken down by the hour. It's really nice. It's going to make my life a lot easier to organize. And it's gonna make my uh it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to organize my days with this with this bad boy anyways thanks again melissa for making this planner and thank you guys for watching if you need a friend to learn how to garden with i'm your girl happy gardening bye